This is how you're gonna make your first 5K with your AI optimization agency. This method is so simple, literally a baby could do it. I'm not gonna sit here today and give you a million different ideas. I'm gonna sit here and tell you about one opportunity. And then I'm also in the same video gonna show you how to then execute on that opportunity and start doing it from today. Now, like any online opportunity, this is not gonna make you rich overnight. You do have to put in a level of work and there is some brain power that is needed for you to execute on this. But if you're obviously watching this channel, then you're obviously above the rest. So I'm very, very confident that this is perfect for you. Some of you may be thinking, Liam, why is your hair so fluffy? Uh, the reason being is I'm just so excited to bring you this information today because it's gonna change the game for some of you young entrepreneurs out there. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I currently run an agency that is doing over $50,000 every single month. And we work with companies, helping them with automations, workflows, and different implementation of AI tech. Now, let's get started. Before we jump into exactly what you're gonna be selling, we need to first find a potential client that is gonna be in a lot of pain that needs our help. Luckily, your boy has the answer to that too. So I want to take accountants for this example, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now I have accountants in the family, so I can see firsthand exactly the pain points that these accountants face. And let me tell you, one of the biggest pain points with accountants is that most of their clients are absolutely clueless when it comes to accounts. That is why they're paying for an accountant, which is totally valid and completely fine. But the issue that accountants face is they then have to employ so many more people to then help answer questions and find solutions, sit there on email all day responding to stupid questions that clients send in. This then becomes a massive time sink for accountants and it also becomes a massive waste of money. So this scenario right there, massive time issue and a massive cost is the perfect opportunity for us to step in and automate some of these pain points. What if we could build this accountant, a custom AI chatbot that sits on their website that knows everything about the company and everything that it's done for the last 10 years, including any blog post it's written, any videos or content it's put out online, or just about anything that's on the internet. And then we could get that chatbot to act and behave like this accountancy. Well, my friends, your dreams are about to become a reality because this is possible and it's very, very simple to set up. Now, the best part about this is if you set this chatbot up properly, and if you manage to figure out your outreach methods and actually get in front of the right people and sell this as a service, then you can copy and paste this to every single accountant or every other niche or niche for you Americans that also share similar pain points to accountants. And let me tell you, there are hundreds. I'm not going to go through them all in today's video. That is for the private Telegram link down below little plug, but this is the opportunity, building out these custom AI chatbots that know and understand everything about the website that you plug it into is going to save so many people so much time. Instead of a page saying, hey, contact us for support, why don't we add a widget or a chatbot service there that says, before you contact us, before you send us a stupid email, or before you try to call us to ask us a stupid question, why don't you ask your stupid question to our AI bot so we don't waste our money and waste our time trying to help you? This is perfect because they're probably gonna get a better answer than what someone would give on the phone. They're probably gonna be able to solve their issues before they even have to contact someone. And this basically acts like a running and a constantly updating FAQ that people can come and use whenever they want. You know, any time of the day, this works. Now, for some of you, I know you're gonna ask, how much could you charge for this? Well, there are gonna be costs with this software. This is how I would position it. So I would first build an example. So I would go to this chatbot that we're about to talk about, this software, build a chatbot for one company and put it on your own website. So take the data from that potential client and put it on this chatbot and then put it on your own website. Once you have that set up, you can then go out to so many different companies and say, hey, this is my example website that we can plug into yours. And you can see there is a chatbot there. Go and ask it a couple of questions about the company. Go and ask it a few questions about accountancy or tax returns or whatever you want to do and let people try it out. That is your offer. It's just showing upfront that you have created this chatbot. Some of you are gonna be asking, how much can I charge for this? How can I get in front of people? And we're gonna talk about that and a couple of strategies in the next part of this video where I jump into the details and the technicals and we actually go through and build one of these bots together. 
So let's do that. We're gonna come on over to customgpt.ai. Now, this app is just one of many. There are so many different chatbot apps that are out there right now, which gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options. Now, the reason why I'm choosing this one is because I understand that a lot of you are beginners and a lot of you are just getting started out. So I want to go to the app that is the most simple to use whilst you're learning the basics, and then you can start adapting and moving into more complex bots, such as bot press. But let's make it easy for now. Let's use custom gpt.ai now when you come and create an account you will see that is a paid option unfortunately in business this is the harsh truth you can start with zero if you were tactical and smart you would go out to businesses and pre-sell this service and then you would take payment up front and then you would come and create an account and you would then get started and do all the process set their butt up for them but I'm sure most of you can afford $49 per month if you are getting started into business and you are actually looking to build something. Now, of course, you can still do the method where you sell it up front, where you don't actually come and invest any money until you've made a sale. But you would have to think a little bit differently and be a little bit smarter with your outreach and obviously your product offering. But if we come on over and start paying from day one, we can actually create a demo and a kind of live version for them to use that you can include in your outreach to help get them over the line and become a paid customer. So let's hit basic. We're gonna to subscribe to this. Cool, and now I'm subscribed. So what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna come on with create project. Now create project gives you these different options. It says sitemap, upload, AWS S3. I have no idea what that is and I'm sure you don't either. But sitemap and upload are the key features that we're gonna be using. So what a sitemap is, is essentially a map of your site <laughs> if you wouldn't have guessed it but no you can come on over to any website and you can find out what their sitemap is and what that does is the sitemap shows you every single page of that website every single page that exists and these are commonly used for you know google analytics tracking software all of that good stuff and in our case we're going to be using it for our training of the gpt bot so to find a sitemap, I'm gonna give you a little mini hack here. You can basically come on over to any website. For the example of this video, I'm gonna use an accountant. So we are gonna come down to, let's go with EHT accountants. Not the best looking website in the world, probably isn't gonna be the best potential client because they clearly don't even respect web design, let alone AI. So we're gonna come on over to their domain and in the search bar, we're gonna type in sitemap dot xml now xml is the most commonly used sitemap format and nine times out of ten you're going to be able to get a hit on this and we have here we can now see their entire sitemap and we can now put this into our chat gpt bot and it's going to read all the information on this website one thing i'm going to check first though is i'm going to come on over to the website and make sure they've actually got enough content on their website to actually build a chat bot that is a key thing here if they don't have content and they don't have a lot of you know, information on their website, then it's gonna be very hard for the GPT bot to actually understand how to answer questions. So let's check out their about us. Okay, super lame. Oh God, we are not using this site. It is absolutely atrocious. Okay, so we're gonna come back onto Google and we're gonna use this website. Okay, so this company obviously puts in a little bit more effort on their website. They have a couple of about us. They've got some articles that we can use and we're gonna try to find their sitemap. So again, we're gonna strip back their domain and we're gonna type in forward slash sitemap.xml. And here we go, we now have their sitemap. And we can come back on over to our bot here and we can enter that sitemap. So our project name is going to be ESDG Accountants. So ESDG Accountants, create project. Perhaps for whatever reason you can't find their sitemap, you don't need their sitemap to get started. If you reached out to businesses before actually setting them up with a chatbot, you obviously don't need their sitemap. But this is just a way for you to pre-build the bot for them, if you like, to show value up front. That is all business is about, is providing value. And if you provide value up front and you capture people's attention by saying, hey, I've built you an AI chatbot, rather than saying, hey, would you like me to build you an AI chatbot? I guarantee you, you're gonna book way more calls, you're gonna get into way more meetings with people, and ultimately you're gonna make way more money. Okay, so that sitemap information is all scraped. We've collected 90 pages, 90 items indexed, which are individual pages, over 147,000 words indexed from the website. But one thing I wanna say before we jump into this chatbot now and we actually see what it can do, you can use this tool for two things. If you are not confident in delivering in AI to these businesses, and this is your first real exposure to actually working with companies, well, the reason why I chose this tool is it's incredibly easy to use. It's incredibly easy to set up, it's fast, and it doesn't take a lot of effort or a lot of knowledge 
to actually jump in and start using. What you can do with it is you can either offer this out for free, like I just mentioned, and provide value up front, and then maybe you sell them solely on this tool, or you use this as a freebie that you give away to companies to chink open the door. And this basically gets you into the room and gets you on a call with these companies where you can say, well, look, this chatbot is just a freebie. You can have it. What we actually do is help you with X, Y, and Z. We help you in the back end on all of your systems with these tools and we do this and that and this and that. And that is another opportunity that you can do. There are way more advanced bots out there than this, but this is super simple to set up and it gives you that leading edge when you're reaching out to companies because you can now offer that value up front, like I just mentioned. So yeah, let's jump into this bot and let's start testing it out. So let's ask it anything. What do I need if I am a limited company in the UK earning over 200,000 pound every single year? every single year let's see what it comes back with so the branding on all this you can change you can change the colors you can change this profile photo you can change it so it's the esdg logo for argument's sake and you can also change it to the brand colors right i will show you how to do that but you can see the bot is now using the information on the website to come back to me with a detailed response of what i need if i'm a limited company here in the uk earning over two hundred thousand pound every single year you can then click through and see where exactly they pull that information from and it is all the esdg websites and articles that they've created so let's Let's try another thing. I run an education business in the UK. What accountancy services can you help me with? Again, the bot's going to do its thing. It's going to trawl all the data on that website and say ESDG accountancy can assist you with a variety of services, including the prep and filling of your year end. Again, it's just going to give loads more information and help that customer who's asking that question. So before we send our bot live, we're gonna to wanna to come on over to project settings and I wanna come down to chatbot and change a couple of options. So you would have just seen that it shows where exactly it pulls that information from the website. You can keep that or you can leave it off. You just click disabled and you can click always hide. With branding, you're gonna to need to pay for that premium plan to remove the branding of custom GPT.ai bot, but that's not an issue. All you're doing is trying to chink open the door and start conversations and just get used to speaking to customers and offering AI as a service. So that is our conversation settings here. Like I said, you can change all of the background images. You can change what this says here. How can we help? There you go. How can we help you? You can upload a new photo. You could use the logo of the company that you're trying to work with, all of that good stuff. Hit save changes. And then you're gonna to wanna to come on over to sharing. So here's where it gets interesting. If you've already signed the client and you've just set this up for them, you are now gonna get them to input this code where you embed it as a live chat into their website. So you can see, copy the following code and paste it into your site's body section where you want the chat bot box and generate responses to render. So I'm gonna quickly show you what that looks like if you are also doing this for them too. So for example, I use ClickFunnels a lot. I've just set this like basic funnel up as a test. So I'm gonna come on over to code and in my header here, I'm gonna copy and paste that AI chatbot code that we just made. So I'm gonna hit save and then we should see the bot on the website. So we go to the live page here and as you can see, my little bot is sat right down there. You can click there and start asking it questions. Now, obviously, so this is exactly how you're going to do it with your clients. Maybe you are offering it as a paid service up front or maybe you are just offering it as a freebie, but you could easily be charging a company 500 a month to 1,000 a month to be offering this as a service. And all you need to do is just hammer the outreach to different companies. Like I said, if you build this up front for people and you actually just say, hey, look, I've invested all this time putting together this bot that is trained on all of your data on your website, then they're gonna look at that and go, holy shit, like I should probably at least respond to his email, or maybe even get on a call and just speak to him. That is the key. I've always seen the best results come from providing the value up front and just standing out from the crowd. Think how many emails these guys get every single day of people trying to sell them different services. So if you come to them instead and say, hey, instead of uh, me trying to sell you a service, why don't you just look at the service that I've already built for you that is already live and running Running and you can test it out for yourself. That is a way better sales pitch and you're gonna have way more opportunities to actually close business and get on calls with these companies. But that is it today. It's a super, super simple method. I don't expect top tier agency owners to be using this platform. But like I said, as a beginner, this is a great opportunity because it's super simple, very low cost, and it's very, very, very easy to use. So guys, if you did find any value on this video, smash a like on the video. Join the free Telegram link down below where I just basically 
talk shit to everyone. It's my day to day life. I tell you what's happening in my agency. I tell you what I'm doing. I tell you what I learn in real time. And uh, yeah, we're starting to build a really cool community over there. So thanks so much for watching this video. Good luck out there and keep learning. Okay, keep learning. Bye bye.